Hi, it's Gary here again. Welcome back to my series of videos on Jack Nicholas Perfect Golf Course Forge Package. Um, last time we were going through the design of some sand dunes and some terrain work as well as adding in some tee boxes. Uh, this time I had planned to add in a cart path and a fence to hole 18. However, I've made a few amendments in the meantime and what I thought I'd do is show you what I've done and show you how I've done them. So if we go into my video that I've just made, okay, this was the original hole here. Uh, these were sand dunes that we made and here's a tee box and then this is the change. So if you look now, we've got a different sky box, we've got some fog added in and we've also got a much darker and less aggressive ocean. So the, the water is lapping um, a lot more realistically I think than before uh, it's also a lot darker and the sky box is darker we've added in some fog so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through with you in unity how to add all of these into your design so we'll shut this down and then we'll crack on with unity so here we are in unity and this is the current state of the design so as you can see we've got this overcast sky box in uh, and what I'll do first off is I'll show you how to change your skybox. So I have imported a package called All Sky, uh, which I got some, quite a while ago now, a couple, two or three years ago off the Unity website. I had a look to see if it was still there, but unfortunately it isn't. So there is an All Sky 2, however, which I assume has superseded it. It's $10, so that's what, I don't know, approaching £10 in English money nowadays. Um, seems like good value you know you get a lot of skies for that and it allowed a lot of um, options to change your course uh, change the look and feel of your course so basically what you do is in in your hierarchy down here I have navigated to the all sky folder and you've got uh, sun high sun horizon sun low sun mid but the uh, sky box that I've used is in the sun high folder so if you click into that and click into the materials what you've got here in the materials is you've got several sky boxes. So one way you can change your sky box is just to literally click on this and drag it in. And there you go, it's changed. Again, click, drag, change. Now, if you look at this one here, which is the sun high summer sky, it's very low res. And the reason for that is that it's been imported as a low res material. I'm not sure why that's done. It may be for download times, it may be to aid the size of the package, but it doesn't come in as a full res material. So the way that you change that is you go into the Sun High folder, which is where your prefabs are held, and you find the corresponding prefab, which I think was that one. Let's just double check, let's just go back and double check. Here's Summer Sky 2 sun high summer sky 2 and if you look here you can see that the max size is currently 32 so if you up that i usually up it to 4096 don't ask me why just do it click apply and you should see that the resolution will change and the sky will pop so let's have a look there you go so it's looking a lot better now the other thing that you can do if you are unhappy with your sky so say for instance you think mm, my sky is a, a tad bright uh, I want to bring it down a little bit you can go back into your materials folder click on the corresponding material and up here you've got some options so you can change the tint so let's say we want it to be a slightly redder sky you can change the tint to red if you want it to be slightly more of a, a dusky looking sky. You can change the tint in there or you can leave it as it was or you can bring it down or you can take it up. It's up to you. And the other option is here is the exposure. So if you pull the exposure up, you're getting a lot of blown out white areas. If you bring it down, it's a lot darker. So that's how you change those features. Also in here, you can see that you can rotate the sky around. So you can say, well, my sun direction is 
wherever I want the sky to reflect that because obviously there's a brighter part where the sun will be. That's how you change your sky box. There is one other way of doing that as well, which is hit up here. If you select window and lighting, you get this box. It's popped up on my other screen, but you get this box and in here you can select your sky. So I'll take it back to where I was. And it's as simple as that. And also you've got a whole raft of sections selections here that you can mess about with. To be honest with you, I never have. Seems to work the way that I've been doing it. Also in this lighting box are your fog settings. So again, here are here's your colour, your fog colour. If you make it, let me just save that off. If you make it darker, the fog is less visible, but you can also see that where it's hitting this horizon, it's darkening it off. If you make it lighter, your fog is more visible, but also, again, you're changing this line on your horizon. So I try to set mine where it has as little impact as possible on the horizon. And the other thing is the fog mode. Um, I set mine to exponential and changing the density settings here significantly changes how it looks. So if I go to a point one, you can't see a thing. If I go to a point zero, 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 one, there's virtually no fog there. So I've settled on point zero, zero, seven, five, no point zero, 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 seven, five for my fog settings. Now, the one thing I will say about this is that the sky only shows up if you're playing with dynamic mode turned off in the game. That's how I want it to be played. So I am hoping that people play my courses with the dynamic mode turned off so they get the sky and the and the brightness and the effects that I've set up in the first place. However, if you play with dynamic mode turned on, the fog doesn't go. So the skybox might change, but the fog will still be there. So if you set your course up as a foggy, misty morning course, if someone plays that on dynamic settings and they're playing it at midday with clear blue skies, they're still going to get that fog and it isn't going to look right. I think a little bit of fog, in my opinion, a little bit of fog is, is a good thing on the course because you can call it haze if you like. If it's a sunny day, you can say it's hazy because if you take the fog out altogether, then I can see this area here in the foreground or I can see this area here right in the background as clearly as I can see this area in the foreground. And in real life, that just doesn't happen. It's very rare you get a day that's so clear that you can see for miles and there's no haze or fog or any kind of atmospheric condition that stops you seeing that, that quite out, out quite that far. So I add a little bit of fog in. Um, yeah, that's, that's, just, that's just what I do. So that's the sky and the fog. Um, the other thing that I changed in the interim is the ocean. So as you can see, I've made it uh, significantly grayer. I've also calmed it down. Now, the one thing that I have done since I actually uh, recorded the video is I've made some of, I've brought the foam color uh, back up, made it a bit lighter so it's a bit more obvious. But I'll show you how to do all of these things now. So. We'll start off with the ocean uh, color settings. So if you scroll down in your hierarchy to your standard assets, you've got one that's called Water 4. And if you go into the Materials folder, you've got Water 4 Advanced. Now, make sure that you've got a backup of all of this before you start playing with any of the settings and make sure you know what you're doing really because you can experiment about but just make sure you've got a backup basically because it, you can make some huge differences to how this looks and if you don't remember how to get it back or you haven't got a backup you're a little bit stuck in here on the in the inspector window there are a lot of settings the settings that control the color of the water are here um, before we go to that, actually, I just want to show you one other thing. If you go into the prefabs folder and click on the MJ Ocean Water, there's an option in here that is not switched on 
uh, by default and that's reflect skybox now by turning that off you can see that there's a big difference in how the water looks I've turned it on because I want it to reflect the, the fact that it's overcast in areas it's also blue up here and if you look you can see some blue reflected which is quite nice but if you tick click that on it will also reflect the, the dynamic sky boxes as well so you're not going to have uh, a, a dirty gray uh, body of water when it's a sunny day so let's go back into the materials folder and select the water for advanced again and see what these color settings do so the base color here again I'll just copy that that's just going to change really obviously the base color of your water so if you've got a body of water sitting on you know on the coast of Hawaii or somewhere like that where it's tropical then you can reflect the water you can change the color of the water to reflect that we're in the UK well this is based in the UK so it's gray and manky um, the reflection color again this just subtly changes the reflections so where we're reflecting the skybox if you make this also blue you are ref you know you're going to reflect on top of that with a blue hue so again just put that back to where it was i still got the blue of the skybox but the but the base color of the reflections if you like is a is a gray uh, a gray color and finally the specular color well that's reflecting the light so wherever your directional light is coming from that's reflecting it so in this instance I'm assuming that the Sun is in this direction here coming down here and this specular is affecting it so if you wanted to make it a more subtle sunny reflection then you can just up it in the yellows you know if it's a bright Sun then up it again if it's you know coming round to dusk again there's your reflection mine yeah you guessed it right over here in the horrible greys so that's how you change the color of your water there's also some settings which I've which I've amended actually let's do the foam next so if you look at the, if you look a bit further up in the inspection window you can see here you've got shore and foam texture so if you select that and then double click the foam that so that's going to open up the uh, associated um, image now again I'm going to open this in Photoshop and in here I can amend the image so if I'm adjusting it so let's say I don't want it quite so obvious I'll just bring the brightness down push the contrast down a little bit uh, and then we'll save that again thoroughly recommend that you have backups of everything but if we now go back into unity you can see that that has just dulled down a little bit the reflection uh, the uh, the foam so and the other the final setting on here which I'm going to take a look at is the wave speed now the waves I've slowed this down considerably from the default and if I slow it down a little further you'll see that I'm getting a much calmer effect so bumping it up so if I were to bump this up to say 50 you know I'm getting a, a much higher amplitude on the waves if you like whereas 1.5 is a much softer a nicer looking wave you can mess about with these like I say make sure that you have a backup again wave steepness if I bump up that really sure what that's done to be honest pull it back there's lots of 
There's lots of settings you can tweak on here. I mean, that you can push that up. You, you're getting some odd things going on. So, yeah, you can you can have a play about with those and get them how you want them. I've actually I'm actually quite happy with how mine looks. Um, so yeah, that's where we are. Um, next in the next video, I will get round to putting in that cart path and the fence. But for now, thanks very much for watching and hopefully see you next time. Thank you.